What's up, everybody? Today is the last day of the block. Um, it's been a week. I filmed the whole entire week so far. This is the last day. We've been successful. Um, I didn't think I was going to be able to do the whole block because I figured I was going to get burnt out. But hey, I did it. It wasn't really that hard, to be honest. I mean, that's the benefit of this type of filming. It's not really much editing. It's kind of just talking and bringing camera with me, or bring a mic with me, which isn't a big deal. So that's cool. Um, we can talk about what we're doing today. We have some close grip bench, or sorry, I lied. We have a single tempo bench, and then I don't know how many reps I actually have. I have to check, but then I have two count pause for a top set and three back downs, I believe. Um... My tempo bench should be pretty heavy today. It's at 8, so it's a single at 8 tempo. Um, so might be doing like 230, to be honest, which is pretty good. I'll probably use pound plates today as well. I like to use pound plates one day a week, and I'm at the gym that uses pounds, and the bench is really bad, and it just looks cooler. So I don't know. Maybe I'll use pound plates today. Uh, I, normally, I've been doing pound plates on my tempo day. Just because whoever I've been working with every time has been using pound plates, so I'd end up using pound plates myself. Um, so that might be a thing that I do. We'll see. I don't know how the setup's going to look, I'm going to be honest, on this bench, because this bench is terrible. So it's going to be really interesting, um, especially not using my hands, because it's either really slidey or really sticky, because I put my bands on it, and then it's really, really sticky. But then it's almost too sticky that I can't even push myself onto anything. Um, and if I don't do that, it's really slidey. So I'm definitely going to have to use the bands. I'm just going to have to figure out a way to make it work. I'll make it work. It might not be the best thing in the world, but I will make it work. And then we have a full back day. Um, I do incline press today, so it's back and chest. Like, I always do kind of back and chest. But it is a full back day. We have some interesting stuff today. Uh, I'm going to sub the chest-supported row that I normally do, because I normally do a chest support T-bar row, or a lever row, as our gym calls it, but I already did that, as you guys saw, because I was in my other gym for my other back day, which I'm normally not, so today I think I'm just going to do one of the chest supported row machines, like like flat, um, and then I'll do my normal stuff, but instead of a T-bar row, because I normally do a T-bar row, so I'll do a chest supported row instead. Um... Yeah, it should be a workout. I'm excited to start the new vlog. I talked to my coach yesterday. Talked about some things. Um, I do not have the new block yet, so I cannot give you an overview of what I'm expecting or anything. But he said pretty much not, not much will change. But, you know, everything is going to be week three of my next block, which will be my last week before my, uh, like, I'm peaking in my taper. I will have probably like RP9, 9.5, 10, which is what I expected because that is the last week right before I don't work out basically or I just touch the lightest weight I possibly can to not lose strength before my meet. So I'm excited. It's really close now. Um, I go back to school in about a week and a half for about eight, nine days at this point, 10 days. It's about to be New Year's. Um, so yeah, once I'm back in my gym, everything will be more consistent because I'll be the same gym every day. I have the best benches I've ever used. I have the best racks I've ever used. And I get to use the TSS bar, which isn't actually a good thing, but that's what I'm using my meat. So it is a good thing for me. Um, I ordered all my singlets and everything that I'm going to wear for the meat uh, yesterday or two days ago. And I ordered the media package, which I wasn't going to do originally, so hopefully I can get a super cool video out of my first meet and everything. Should get some really good photographs and some really good video, uh, so I'm hoping that that works out well for me. But either way, I'm excited. It's super close now, and uh, yeah, let's, let's get in the gym and hit some, uh, hit some heavy bench and some back. Okay, this will be the last warm up. All right, this is the second last warm up. This will be the last round without um, a lift off. But it feels really good right now. From now on, we're doing singles. Make sure that feels really good. Max the top set. So. 3 1 0. Learn to make these all really good.
Yeah, let's have your last one. Uh, three, two, one. Thank you. Take it. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. That was 230. That was pretty close to my PR for a tempo. I had a solid eight and a half, eight. Supposed to be at eight. This is uh, two count bars, four, four reps at six and a half. So, I want the bars to be good. Okay, I have two back downs. These are super light, 175. So. The pause is really, really good. The pause weren't bad there at all. It's even better though. Why not? Let's go. One more. All right, last set moved like air, so can't really move better than air. But let's let's make it move better than air. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be really heavy or really light. All I know is that it's, it's different than what I normally do. It might feel weird, but I get a good start when I was practicing. So I'll take it. It's super controlled, 8 to 10.
That's good. I'll be able to write that for you. Okay, come on. Actually, I like the machine a lot too. Good stretch. The blue machine arrow, I do. Do not feel the stretch. This is a much better machine. I don't know why I haven't been using it, but let's go. Pause makes it very hard. Very, very hard. One more set. Last set of this. After this, we have the single arm pull downs, which are interesting to set up, but they do work. So, alright, make this last set good. Yeah, that pause is brutal. Brutal. Hold on. Boot setup, but does work. Well, each one. Does work. That sucks. It looks weird. Bonker set up. It works. I'm gonna move the back for the fence for the back in the next set.
Funny, every time I do this, I like see the Instagram memes in my mind that are like, what am I doing? Like, you know what I mean? It's like weird shit, but it does actually work, so. Fuck it, we ball. Move the bench back a little so we can get our stretch. Let's go. can't cheat the reps like your chest is on the bed and you fully stretch it out you can't cheat there's no swaying so it's just like it works it looks stupid but oh if it works it works Set. I'm gonna eat most likely 200, about 200 calories of graham crackers or chocolate animal crackers eaten. Most of my EA is drinking. But we got a few more things to do, so one more set of this. I'm getting behind them. Let's go. Other arm, and we're done with this. I love these, they're actually good. Let's look good. Sets of incline bench. I've been sticking with it these last few weeks just because I want to have super strict, strict ones. So 
my stage today as well. Let's go. much after that. What I mean by good form is like when I get to the bottom, I hold it for a second and stretch my chest out. Like I puff my chest up. I feel a crazy stretch. Um, and I struggle to feel my chest usually doing stuff. So I just keep it light and keep doing that. And I think it's, it's good. I hate dumbbells. Almost it. Like, I feel like my form looks terrible, but like, you don't understand when you push your chest at the bottom and stretch it, it hurts so bad. It makes the movement so much harder. Last set of these is gonna be very hard. Okay, usually I superset this in triceps, but I don't want to superset today. I want it to isolate at the same time, so I'm going a little heavier. Yeah, normally I superset this in single arm push downs. I'm just gonna do this and then do that after. Two more. These hurt my elbows a little bit, but still, still goaded. Let's go.
Jesus. One more set. Last set of biceps. Come on. Just 12. It's easy. Just 12 reps. Oh my god, how? Try steps and I'm done. Okay, single arm press downs. Let's go. I think about the weight. It feels pretty light today. We're gonna try to up it. I felt like. Okay. Put it up to 20. See how it goes. So it's pretty easy. I guess because I'm not super setting, it's just 40 times easier, so we'll do 25. Oh, 
turn the lights so easy. Then. So easy. All right, I'm gonna pose. All right, pose and pose and pose. Let's see what we're looking like. What can I say? Good workout. Um, I can say my chest after bench was so pumped. It was like crazy. Like I never get that. Um, like doing uh, the rows, the chest supported rows. Um, I was doing them and like in the mirror, I was like, I was like doing the pec pop, which I like never can do. I mean, I can do it, but like not like that. Like it was easy. Uh, so that's good. Back also felt really good today. I think I had a really, really solid pump. I don't know if it shows up when I pose. I just think, like, either, it's either, I don't think it's the lighting in that room because that posing room is actually really good. It's just the way my camera has to be set up, it can't zoom out enough without me making me look stupid. Um, so it just, like, doesn't look good when I pose normally, but it's whatever. It was a good pump. Um, everything went really well, I'd say. 2.30 today. Probably moved to like an eight, eight and a half. Supposed to move at an eight, so that's perfect in my opinion on the shitty bench, super shitty bench. If I'm on, if I'm on my comp bench today, I think that moves at like a six or a seven. Like it makes so much difference, and that felt it felt really good to be honest. Um, tempo was definitely pretty good. My pause had to be good, and then the two count pauses I think were pretty good. Maybe one rep was a bad pause, but the other ones are, I feel like were all pretty good pauses. So. Super solid session. Uh, back was really good as well. I don't know why the triceps at the end felt so, so, so light. Normally, I do 15 for 12, and I'm, like, screaming in pain. Today, I ended up doing 25 for 12 at the end, and it was, like, easy. I guess just because I normally superset preachers and that, because uh, I'm supposed to. But today, I was like, I have extra time. I don't really want to superset. It's also really hard to film supersets, so I'm, like, I'm good. So, maybe that's why I was just way stronger. Um, but I'll take it. Felt really good. Tricep got a good pump. Uh, yeah, everything felt really good today. My chest is still pumped, like, for sure. Tomorrow I have – well, I don't know tomorrow because I don't have my program yet, but I'm assuming I have my squats tomorrow, like, like always, uh, which is which is solid. So I don't know what it's going to be at. I honestly have no clue, but I know we're supposed to be trying out a different grip. He wants me to try to close my thumb onto the bar, so I either have to try to see if I can do it with the grip I have now, which I don't know if I have because last time I tried, I couldn't. It hurt my wrist too much, but now I wear wrist wraps and everything, so we'll see. Maybe I can, and if I can't, then he wants me to widen my grip so that I can. So I'm just gonna have to make my like as close as possible where my thumbs can still close. Pretty much is what I'm gonna do for squat tomorrow. Uh, stance width and everything should be the exact same. I have no clue what RPE is gonna be at. I have no clue what weight I'm doing yet because I don't have the program yet. But I'm sure it'll be pretty similar. Probably be around a six. I imagine a five or a six or something like that. Because uh, if we're building up to a nine, even if it's only three weeks, and we take two two RP jumps, that'd be five seven nine. It's probably going to be like five to six or something like that. I don't know, you know, I don't have the program yet, so I cannot say for sure. All I know is that today was a solid workout. It was the last day of the block. Um, I'm going to try to film tomorrow as well because it's the first day of the block. I always like filming the first day of the block, and then I might take a few days off because I have filmed. At that point, I would have had filmed six workouts in a row. Um. So I don't know how much more I can do. Although while I'm home, I really can film and edit as much as I want. So when I get back to school, then it might be a little stressful. But I'm still going to try to film as much as possible. 
Uh, yeah, solid workout. Um, also, I forgot to mention, I'm sure I'll put a message if I don't forget, but these shorts that I'm wearing, I don't know if you guys can see them, but the Steel Asylum shorts, um, I love these shorts, really comfortable. Uh, if you use code JML on their website, you'll get, uh, I believe, 15% off. So uh, go ahead and use that. Uh, I'll put the link in the description as well. I believe it's steelasylum.org. Uh, hopefully I put a message at the beginning of the video because I actually do love these shorts and they're really comfy and uh, I have a code. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.